Federal Treasurer Scott Morrison was accused of being out of touch today when he used a major economic address to state the obvious. Yes, he admits that owning a home is now out of reach for too many Australians. But his solution is to blame the states. Paul Bongiorno joins us now from Canberra with more on this story, Paul. So is the Treasurer out of touch? Well, Sandra, he's certainly in touch with those who invest in housing or are lucky enough to own their own home, but he's out of touch with those struggling to save to get into the market. He simply doesn't accept that his own tax arrangements are a significant contributor to the crisis. Nick Bodner is a 34-year-old teacher. Two and a half years ago, he moved back in with his mum to help him save for a home. And I've hit about the 60,000 mark. But as the prices skyrocket, he's falling further behind. I'm competing against investors, people with money, for the purpose of reducing their taxes, for, for overseas investors. I'm like, how can I compete with this? The market is getting away from people, no matter how hard they work. Or save. In Sydney, in the past five years, the time taken for a dual income couple to save for a 20% deposit has risen from almost six years to eight. Melbourne slightly better off, rising to a six year saving slog. It's the Prime Minister's 62nd birthday, but there were no gifts for young would be home buyers. It's very clear what the cause is. We simply have not been building enough dwellings. The government wants the states to release more land and cut planning red tape. But the biggest issue still is saving for a deposit. Treasurer Morrison is definitely out of touch because he doesn't see that as being the issue. Economists say the Treasurer himself holds the keys to make life easier for first-timers. There's no doubt that the tax concessions for housing are, are driving investors in and there's no doubt that's pushing house prices up. These concessions cost an estimated $12 billion, more than is spent on higher education and childcare. And as in the election, Labor says they should be trimmed to make housing more affordable. They're perpetuating a massive hoax. They're not going to do anything that the federal government can do to influence housing prices. We do not achieve that goal by embarking upon policies that will hit the housing market. The Treasurer will meet the states before Christmas. Now, Paul, you're still with us and you've got some breaking news on a nasty spat in Canberra. Do tell. Yes, Sandra, the second law officer, the Solicitor General Justin Gleeson, has released a letter to the first law officer, the Attorney General George Brandis. He says the relationship between them is irretrievably broken down. There's a complete loss of trust, confidence, uh, and confidence and respect. And uh, the only way to break this impasse is for him to resign. And George Brandis agrees he's done the right thing. It's the proper thing to do, he says. Well, Bongiorno with the latest there. Thank you.